We have tackled many strange stories on 60 Minutes, but perhaps none like this. Here to discuss, Luis Elizondo, former director of the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. UFOs have captivated the public interest for decades, but they've always been dismissed, including by me as the province of wackos. Luis Elizondo is a former military intelligence official and currently works with the Stars Academy and the History Channel, and he joins us now. My name is Lou Elizondo. For nearly the last decade, I ran a sensitive aerospace threat identification program. It was in this position I learned that the phenomenon is indeed real. And that somehow managed to leap And now as a member of or to the is Stars something Academy, completely new. Not new. Not this and I think it's these important. These aircraft, will, apparently, uh, that are moving in ways that appear to violate Academy physics, that are flying very differently from any aircraft ever observed, that and the US government has actually indeed been dealing with this we issue for over 70 years. years. What is this? And that's a little well, bit problematic, because if we say this is foreign adversarial technology, we know that the Russians... On October 14, 2017, Luis Lou Daniel Elizondo IV stepped on stage in Seattle, Washington, announcing to the world that the UFO phenomenon was real. It was in this position I learned that the phenomenon is indeed real. Lou would instantly rise to the top of the UFO subculture, being backed by a global media campaign labeling him as a Pentagon UFO whistleblower. Previous to this day, no one outside of the military intelligence community, a few politicians, and a close-knit circle of defense industry contractors had ever heard of the name Lou Elizondo. Very little is known about Mr. Elizondo beyond the biography that is listed on his website at lewiselizondoofficial.com. There remain to this day some very serious and alarming unanswered questions about Lou, his background, and his claims. Every piece of evidence obtained in the making of this documentary was located during a thorough search of public records available on the internet. While such information is considered public, I have gone to great lengths to protect the privacy of every individual mentioned in this piece, while only including information that is entirely relevant in an attempt to answer the question of, who's Lou? In order to be completely transparent, a full bibliography of original copies of the research material obtained during the making of this film, along with source reference links, is being made publicly available on the website www.whoslumovie.com. Who's Lou?